Hi Sagittarius, I hope you guys are all doing well. So this is going to be a general love reading for November 2021. It's going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. And it is general, so it's not going to be everybody's situation. But like always, you can check out one of your other signs, one of your person signs, or you can book a personal reading. All that information is in the description box. Also keep in mind that the roles can be reversed because this reading is general. Oh, okay, and we have third party and cycles. Okay, so again, um, I think this was the case for, for Aries, actually. All right, so maybe some of you are dealing with an Aries, but it doesn't have to be. Okay, there are a lot of third party situations. It doesn't have to be a partner. It could be just a situation, okay? Um, what I'm getting here is that whatever this situation is concerning a third party, there have been a lot of cycles and whoever is involved in the third party, and it could be you, could be them, maybe it's even the both of you. Um, it feels like there's a lot of in and out and just going through, through different phases. All right, possibly a little bit of back and forth. So let's see. Sagittarius. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. First two weeks of November. All right, let's see. For the situation, we have the Five of Wands crossed by the Emperor. Okay, so definitely there's a lot of either conflict or just having to put up with other people or having resistance um, from other people and just having to kind of go against that, all right? And the the challenge here is the emperor. So that's all about um, somebody really standing in their own power, taking control and actually being able to resolve this conflict or be able to deal with these external energies. All right, so let's see. For your energy, we have strength as well as the five of cups. All right, so that's Leo energy showing up. For them, we have the Knight of Cups and the Six of Wands. All right, coming up here for you, we have the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. And for them, we have the Four of Wands and the potential outcome is the Chariot. Okay, so Cancer energy also showing up. All right, could be any sign, just calling out what I see. It does feel like we have quite a bit of fire. So let's see. Sagittarius, yeah, I feel like you're you're trying to be strong here, or you you feel like you have endured a lot. Um, and I feel like you know when you think back to how strong you have been, or to how much you have endured, maybe you've shown a lot of compassion, a lot of patience. Um, to this situation or to this person, and it's actually making you feel um, a bit sad. Um, almost like you're you're grieving a loss, possibly. I don't know. So if I don't know if there has been some kind of a fallout between the two of you. Could be, could be also with this five of wands here. All right, but definitely I'm seeing you in an energy of being a little bit on the downside. All right, now for them. This person is wanting to move towards love. They're wanting to move towards love. They want to be successful at that. They want to achieve, you know, a specific goal here when it comes to what it is that truly makes them happy and to what it is that truly makes them feel like, you know, this is where I belong. And I do feel like this is their energy towards you. We'll see. Let's clarify. Because with the chariot, I mean, that is action. That is definitely action. That's definitely taking a new path. Um, however, for you coming up with the Queen of Pentacles being in reverse, I feel like, you know, this is like a little bit of a precaution for you to just make sure that you are taking care of yourself. All right. So let's let's clarify. So let's see the Five of Wands with the Emperor. All right, we have the Nine of Pentacles, Death, and the Ten of Swords in reverse. All right, so 
Yeah, you know what, this whole challenge is somebody is trying to become independent of that third party situation here, okay? Somebody is really trying to find their own sense of self-worth and how they can just separate themselves from that situation, all right? That is because this is a situation that is done. All right, this is something that I feel has already ended here, okay, with death being here. However, this person, whoever is in this, and again, it could be the both of you, um, they have not released it just yet. I feel like there's there's a bit of avoiding the pain that comes with that ending, even though the ending is already there. This person is already pretty much, you know, almost living as if they're single in a way. Living as if, when I say single, you know, meaning independent of this situation. However, right, there's still that conflict, and I feel like there's still resistance from whatever that third party is, even if it's just a job. However, for this particular situation, I'm, I am kind of getting that it is a relationship, all right? Um, so it could be a marriage, it could just be a relationship, a connection, whatever. And it could just be another person, but not necessarily a romantic partner. So do take it as it resonates, but yeah, this person is having a hard time really standing up for their own self and really taking charge of what it is that they want, which is basically this ending, like I said, that's already here. Okay, so yeah, and that's also Scorpio energy showing up as well. So let's see, and I do get Aries with the Emperor. Okay, that's, I don't think everybody gets Aries with the Emperor, but I do. So let's see for you, let's see strength. So we have the Two of Pentacles, the Emperor in reverse, and the King of Swords in reverse. All right, Sagittarius, you you have been strong, all right? You, I feel like you have endured a lot, as I said, and it's getting to the point where it's too much for you, for you to handle. I feel like you just don't want to be strong anymore. That's what you're feeling here, okay? At least concerning this situation. I'm getting, you want to be strong for your own self. Maybe for some of you also for the situation, but it's proving to be very difficult because it's like, you know, how much can you possibly take? Whatever this is, and this, um, if it's not you in regards to this other person, right? It could be, if you are the one in the third party, well then this is your energy towards um, one of the two situations that you were involved with. Yeah, it's, it's completely like not, just not wanting to even try anymore. But it's also coming in as you not really being defensive. It's more of, it's this energy of giving up. It's an energy of giving up and not even really making a decision. It's, it's kind of like going with the flow, but not in the best way possible though. So it's kind of hard to explain, but it's like just not really, it's like you're not really doing anything. You're not moving in any, in any particular direction here. It's like you've, it's like you've just had enough to the point where you just don't want to move that way. You don't want to move this way, the other way. Like it's just pretty much not doing anything because I feel like everything that has happened or everything that has been happening has been like just so overwhelming for you. Let's see the Five of Cups. Yeah, the Tower and the Six of Swords in reverse. See, it's like there's a tower here, okay? There's a crisis that you are going through, um, emotionally at least. So it's a lot of, I feel like it's a lot of pain actually. It's a lot of pain. It feels like you're grieving. And I actually feel like, you know what, that's that's okay. And I feel like that's why we have strength up right here rather than in reverse. Even though, you know, like I said, I feel like you're just giving up, not moving in any particular direction. I feel like temporarily, this is something that, you know, um, you just have to, you know, kind of allow yourself to go through this process and not try to push yourself, don't have, you know, high expectations of anything or of your own self or of where you should be going or of what you should be doing or or anything. 
I actually feel like this is, you know, if there's a tower here, you know, there's not really much you can do about it. And again, Six of Swords, I feel like you're kind of, you're kind of in this, like you're, you're right smack in the middle of this here. So yeah, you know, I feel like this is all about you just being compassionate with yourself, being kind to yourself. Um, I mean, I don't know if some of you, this might be just for a very small group of you, you know, you might be holding on to certain feelings of guilt, you know, that's something that, that's one thing you should, you know, try to release, you know, or to, you know, at least face it. Face it and then try to release that, like, don't be so harsh on your, on your own self. All right, and for others of you, it's just processing whatever, whatever it is that you are dealing with at the moment that is causing you so much grief. Oh, okay, Sagittarius. Let's see what's going on with the other person. Again, roles can be reversed. So let's see this Knight of Cups. All right, and we have the Ace of Wands. Yeah, this is somebody who has a lot of drive, a lot of passion for you, all right? Um, really wants this connection. Let me get one more, because then what is the issue here? Might get cleared up in the next, <laughs> in the next, okay, yeah, because we got the Six of Wands again, and I was just thinking about the Six of Wands, thinking it's going to get cleared up here. Okay, for some of you, okay, this isn't going to be exactly the case for all of you, all right, just I'm getting a specific message here. For some of you, this is somebody who might um, have a bit of an ego, all right, and that ego is being validated when this person is actually um, pursuing pursuing another connection, possibly just out of lust, just out of impulse, okay, this isn't going to be for all of you, this is just a specific message for some of you. All right, so that now that makes a lot of sense to me as to why um, you would be feeling the way that you are feeling here. All right, now, for others of you, this is somebody who, where the third party might not be for sex or for lust, right, um, to validate their ego, but there is a validation of their ego in a different sense where there is, they want to be, um, they want to have status or holding on to certain um, beliefs, which that came through for Leo's reading actually. And I do get a lot of Leo energy from the Six of Wands, so maybe some of you are dealing with Leo, but let's see. Let me clarify the Six of Wands. All right, very interesting. We have the Two of Cups in reverse and then the Lovers upright. Okay, so this is definitely a situation of possibly status or of just really wanting to do what is what is the right thing. Like, what is it that would really bring victory? What is it that would, you know, have them be recognized by society or by, by others? So I feel like there's a little bit of a confusion when it comes to their own... Um, their own standards versus other people's standards. And it's it's confusing because it's like they use that as a they use other people's standards as a basis thinking that okay, well then this is what I have to do in order to be right, okay? So again, two different groups here. Um so this particular for this particular group, you know, whatever it is, th there's two situations here, right? One where there is no love and then one where they feel like this very very strong connection. And so, again, this is a bit of ego that's actually in the way here. Not in the very negative sense of the word. It's not that they're being selfish, necessarily. I think for the first group, it is a little bit more in that, um, in that sense. So it's not selfishness here, necessarily, but it's just wanting to make sure that what they're doing is right and uh, confused when it comes to what is right and what isn't. And that's because they have society's um, expectations as a basis. 
All right, let's see that King of Pentacles for what is coming up for you. All right, so we have the Page of Pentacles and we have the King of Cups in reverse. Okay, so yeah, you know, it's this is a message for you to, you know, just take it step by step because emotionally, you know, you're not at your best right now. For, you know, whatever reason. And it really does require just, you know, moving slowly. But always, you know, keeping your own self in the back of your mind. Actually, you should be in the forefront of your mind. But the reason why I phrased it like that is because I know you're going through this tower. So it's really just about taking it step by step. And in the process, you know, keep yourself in, you know, one part of your mind and make sure that you are taking care of yourself. All right. And that you nurture yourself through this, through this time. So let's see the Four of Wands for the other person here. All right, we have the Ace of Pentacles and we have Justice. Hmm, okay. They're moving towards um, a, being more stable here. I do feel like they want to be, you know, where they feel like they belong and not where society thinks that they belong or where they think society thinks that they belong, right? And that's why we have justice here because this is all about making a decision for a new path, all right, moving in a new direction that is actually where they believe that they want to be, just basing it off of their own self, right? Remember, that was the challenge here for them was to fully... Um, or for whoever is in, you know, the third party situation, this could also apply to you. But the challenge was firmly standing in your own power, taking control of your own empire rather than, rather than allowing others to run your empire or your own life. And that's what this Five of Wands here is representing. It's those other people interfering. And the whole point was for somebody to be like this Nine of Pentacles, thinking on their own terms. And that's where I see this person headed, okay? If this is what they need for you, I see you, you know, just needing to take care of yourself basically through this and just allowing yourself to process whatever you're processing. So let's see the, um, the chariot, all right, which is Cancer energy. We just got the moon, which is Pisces. All right, and the page of wands in reverse. Okay, so you know what this is? This is really not knowing where this is going, and that's okay, all right? That's that's completely okay. You, we don't always have to know exactly where everything is going. I feel like there is um, there's some action being taken here. There's a new path, a new direction, but it feels very unknown, all right? And that's why we have the moon. There's a, There could be some fears surrounding this new path. And I feel like it's actually for the both of you. And that's why the page of wands is here in reverse because it can feel a little daunting, all right? When we don't really know this new path and where it's heading and where it's taking us. And it's just a matter of trusting it. Not everything is being revealed at the moment and there's a reason for that, all right? But there is, there is something new here. There's action, there's movement forward. So, Sagittarius. That was it. Those were the messages for the first half of November. I thank you so much for watching and much love.